The south front or inner elevation of the bar gate is of an entirely different architectural character from that of the north front and is mainly due to the enlargements to the Norman gateway during the 13th century. The central and two smallest archways on the south front also date from the 13th century, but the two large archways adjoining the central passageway date from the late 18th century, when two side passageways were cut through the flanking towers of the bar gate. Above the archways are the four windows of the Guildhall. They are in the 14th century style and were placed there in 1865 when the south front was extensively restored. In a niche over the central archway is a statue of King George III in Roman costume, which was copied from the statue of the Emperor Hadrian held in the British Museum. It was a gift in 1809 from the second Marquis of Lansdowne who, presenting it to the corporation, described it as bearing no mean likeness to his majesty. The niche was previously occupied by a statue of Queen Anne which was erected together with the sundial above the niche in the mayoralty of St John Thornborough in 1705. This date and the mayor's initials can still be seen over the dial. When replaced by the statue of George III, the memorial to Queen Anne was relegated to a niche inside the Guildhall where it was exhibited. The south front of the bar gate is surmounted by wide battlements which are on a lower level than those of the north side. In the westmost embrasure is a watch bell, one of three or four bells that were placed at different stations in the town which answered one another in ringing the watches or sounding alarms. It occupies the position of one place there in 1579 and has the inscription and date, In God is my hope, RB 1605. On the west jam of the opening, immediately to the east central archway, some interesting carvings dating from about 1400 are just visible through the iron grill. They are probably the work of prisoners, for this part of the ground floor of the bar gate was once a prison, and the carvings appear on the splay of a former medieval window, which was enlarged in the 18th century when a passage was made through what had been once the prison cells.